Hey YouTube, this is Airsoft Bros, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a foxhole radio. Now I know this, I know this doesn't involve Airsoft, but um, I just thought this was a cool thing to show you guys, and I've made, and I think you guys should make too. Um, now the history behind the foxhole radio was, the American GIs in World War II, um, they wanted to listen to the broadcast to see any new news or anything. So um, they tried to make this radio, and they were actually pretty successful. Now they didn't have any high-tech equipment or any high-tech things to make any powerful radio of some sort. They just found scraps and figured out how to make a working radio out of all those scraps, which is pretty smart. And um, they're pretty effective today. You can get a local AM stations. They don't get FM, they get AM stations. And you can, if you tune it correctly, I've gotten around five different stations. And you can get more too. It depends where you are. Now, to build this foxhole radio, the, here's the materials list. You can get a pencil and paper now if you want to write this down. Okay, first thing you need is a toilet paper tube, some wire, regular insulated wire you can get anywhere from any electronics you have, anything like that. And then next you want to get magnet wire. That's a bit hard to get. You can get that from the inside of electric motors from any like toys or remote control things you have or you can go to Radio Shack and buy it. It's thin wire with an enamel coating. And um, next we want to get a, a razor blade, a safety pin, um, like six to eight thumbtacks, uh, like headphones or an audio jack, whichever you prefer. Um, and, oh, paper clips. You want about two to four paper clips and something to mount this whole thing on. Usually a square piece of wood or a square box or square box, I mean a wooden box, sorry. And I think that's it. Now I'm gonna show you how to build it. Over here, this right here is my finished radio and it works really successfully. Now um, there's, there's my coil with all the wire on it, toilet paper tube. Oh, sorry, you need a pencil too. I forgot to say that. There's my pencil tip. Okay, so I know I'm not building one because I don't really feel like building another one right now, but I'm going to show you how to build it from my finished one. First thing you want to get to do is take your toilet paper tube. Take your tip toilet paper tube and take two holes on one side of it. Now take your um, magnet wire and put it through those two holes so it sticks out right there. So it goes under and then comes out that hole and leave about two inches or more coming out of there. And now what you're gonna do is carefully wind it exactly or close to 120 times. And I counted and that took, I don't know, it took a while. Or at least it seemed like a while. And I ran out of red wire so I had to go to the, my copper wire right there and that still has the enamel coating on it. And you want you don't want them to cross over because that will mess it up. And but you want them to be as close together as you can get them. And then when you get to, when you get to 120 times, put two more holes and put it through, and then it will come out like that. Okay. After you have that, you can trim off the excess um, toilet paper tube, and then take whatever you're mounting it on. I have it on a wooden box right here, and you want to do the thumbtacks into the wood, so just to hold it in place like that. Next, what you want to do is you want to take two of your um, paper clips and twist the ends. Now before you attach that wire, it has an enamel coating on it. So what you want to do is take a small piece of sandpaper and sand it off. On the red wire you can see it come off, but on the copper you just have to do it like a lot of times until you think it's all the way off. Next you want to just twist them onto the sides of the paper clips and use the thumbtacks to push the paper clips onto the board. Next what we want to do is take your razor blade. Now a regular razor blade just on its own will not work for this project. What you want to do is you want to take your razor blade and take some pliers and put it into a blue flame of some sort. Not like like from a candle or anything because I'll put a bunch of carbon all over it but a blue flame like I use my natural gas stove flame and that works like really well and you basically heat it up and turn it turns red hot or it goes black 
And when you take it out, don't put it into water. Um, just sit it out to cool. And right there you can see how it's like a darkish blue color or black color. That's how you want it to be. Okay, next you, what you want to do is you take a piece of wire, just a regular small piece of wire, and twist it onto that paper clip and wrap it around a thumbtack and push the thumbtack into the wood connecting it to that so it's touching that. Next we want to do is take your safety pin bend it into this kind of shape you just kind of twist it and then take your pencil sharpen it and cut off that much of the end of it and stick the safety pin into the, back, the graphite on the back. Make sure it's in the graphite not in the wood. Then pin that to the board right around there so it can pivot like that and next we want to do is take two small pieces of wire, connect one to the safety pin right there, connect the other to that paper clip, and connect those to either your headphones or your audio jack. I have them on my audio jack. Then what you want to do is take all your extra wire, this kind of wire, and you want to have some for your ground, which goes onto that paper clip, and that will go to your wire, which will connect to your cold water pipe. And then you, the other wire, you use it as your antenna. Now, I don't recommend using insulated wire like this for your antenna. It's all I had. And if you use that for your antenna, you're going to have to have a really long antenna. But I connect this to this right here. This is an actual antenna. It's an AM, FM antenna. I just connect that to that. And you spread it around your room. Like, I, I just have it around my room as much as you can. And that will pick up signal and you want your antenna basically as long as you can get it like as much wire as you have use it for your antenna because a short antenna will not work for this project if you actually want it to be really functional use a lot of wire for your antenna and try to use bare wire okay now for operation once you have everything set up and you have your headphones in your ears or whatever or you have your audio jack plugged into it. I plug mine into my guitar amp right there. But, and that works really well. Um, basically what you want to do is if your antenna's up and everything, you, you take this and you very carefully or very slowly move the ear to the side until you hear either fuzz or you hear voices and you stop. And it's a very, very precise moving. It's not like, it's not like all shaky like that. It's like you have to move it really, really, really slowly and to fine tune it onto the radio station that you find you have to really just kind of push it like that and if it if it's not if it just keeps going back to where it started just pull your safety pin up a bit and that should work um also you can pivot this like that and you can access more this is what this is what differs my radio from pretty much everyone else's on the internet is that I have one safety pin in there, so I can pivot this like that, and then pivot this, which gives me a lot more. Most other people can only find one or two or three radio stations. I've found at least at least probably seven. Like I can get a lot. I've I'm I usually listen to um, Angels Baseball Talk Radio, and yeah. Okay, that's pretty much it. This is my finished radio. This is pretty much how yours should look. It's a fun project to do on the weekend. Um, involves no soldering at all and yeah that's pretty much it thank you for watching have fun building your radios and please rate and comment this is Airsoft Bros again and thank you for watching